tells us that adults and children can be victims of both sex and labor trafficking, mm-hmm. and it provides a you know a number of kind of standards to meet those thresholds. Okay. In Connecticut, we have legislation that very clearly articulates if a child's under the age of 18, he or she cannot be charged as a prostitute. They are a victim of child trafficking. So that was a really important step for us a couple of years ago, because okay. prior to that, we were doing under 16. Okay. So now we're looking at children under the age of 18. Which I would think is so important. Between 16 and 18, people can still be so vulnerable and unaware of maybe consequences of Absolutely. decisions they're making. Absolutely. You know, you know, when you look at all the research, even young um, adults into mm-hmm. their late teens and early 20s, right. they too, they're still developing and still can mm-hmm. get into circumstances that are not good for them. Why is the language you so important? And I know we don't use the term prostitutes, Correct. it's victim, right? Correct. Why is that so important? Because it helps us as a community, as a society, to realize that these kids are truly victims. When we use the word prostitute, we're blaming that child. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we're using the word prostitute with adults that are also victims, and that's not accurate. Mm -hmm. Um, And there's some interesting data that tells us that 70% of adults in the life were victims as children. So it really puts us in a different um, playing field when we're working with kids when we're not using language that labels them, that accuses them of being the perpetrator of anything, mm-hmm. because they're not. This, we're talking about adults buying sex from kids. Very simple. And that's against the law. Even in terms of what term we use for the violators, right? We try to use trafficker or exploiter. Correct. We're trying to get away from the word pimp. Mm-hmm. Uh, kids know that term, so we will still often use that when mm-hmm. we're connecting to children, particularly law enforcement connecting to children. Because when you look at 